These two meals have the same calories, they have the same carbs and the same nutrients, but they affect you very differently. Some foods make you eat more, some foods make you eat less. There are many studies that prove this, and the most famous of them all may be Kevin Hall's extraordinary study on ultra-processed foods from 2019. Hall set out to prove something that seemed obvious. It doesn't matter if foods are processed or not, as long as they contain the same amount of carbs, fats and protein. But what he found shocked him. Apparently, he'd been mistaken. The study examined people eating ultra-processed foods compared to people eating less processed foods. Beyond that, the researchers tried to keep carbs, protein and fat the same. And the participants were all told to eat as much or as little as they wanted. Shockingly, people who ate the ultra-processed foods ate 500 calories extra per day without noticing. They quickly gained weight and body fat. People who ate unprocessed foods ate 500 calories less and started losing weight without even trying. Meanwhile, both groups were equally hungry and full, equally satisfied. They liked the food just as much either way. But one group gained fat and the other lost. So why did it happen? There are many potential problems with ultra-processed foods. It's not just carbs, sugar, fat and protein, but also energy density, vitamins and minerals, fiber, speed of eating and digestion, addictive potential. In this study, they tried to keep it all the same, but there were a few minor and one huge difference. The energy density in the processed food was way higher. The number of calories per weight was twice as high in the ultra-processed group. The bottom line is that multiple factors influence how much we eat and our weight and our metabolic health. Why does it have to be so complicated? Can't we find a way to make it simple? Can we combine all of this complexity, all of these factors to just one thing? If you think of the problem of eating for weight loss and metabolic health, a key issue is wanting to eat too much food. We can't fight ourselves forever, so counting calories doesn't work. The solution is satiety. Satiety is the opposite of hunger. When you feel satiated, you're no longer interested in food. Eating is no longer on your mind, so you're free to do whatever else matters to you. With satiety, you're now unlocking your potential to live the life you want. And at the same time, the satiating foods you've eaten have nourished you, helping you to achieve energy and strength. We all eat to satiety. The real trick is to find the foods that allow you to get there while eating less. Follow us as we show how satiety can be made simple. Sign up at hava.co for early access to our satiety tools.